everybody welcome back to JCD it's been a while since I've actually just like grabbed my camera and filmed a simple vlog for you guys but basically today is a pretty busy day so I thought that today would be a pretty good day to film some content I just finished my first class for today which was a CNC 4459 advanced CAE I'm not gonna give you a verbal rundown of my schedule for today because it is quite long but to sum it all up I have one class two tutorials and one lab I think you're gonna like the lab because it's like circuits and stuff, so stay tuned for that. But right now, I have to go to the Spencer Engineering Building, which I can see, and I have to go to the UES Lounge and pick up the Eng versus Ivy tickets because there is an Eng versus Ivy hockey game that is happening in a couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and do that first. So I just got to the Spencer Engineering Building and this is where the UES Lounge is. Yeah, see you there. All right, so I got the tickets for Edge versus IV. These are pretty fancy. All right, so now that I got my Edge versus IV tickets, let me decide what I wanna do right now. So basically my next class is all the way on the other side of campus. Actually, it's not a class, it's what an absolute quinky dink. What's up, man? I don't wanna interrupt hey. you, I don't wanna No, you. no, you're good, you're good. Hello, everybody. That was Will. How's it going? Yeah, friend in uh, Mech Eng. Big lab today, big lab. Big lab, oh true, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm filming the lab today. Oh, we're filming the lab today. I'm filming the lab what today. What are we doing for the lab again? Do you remember? Or? Uh, we're calibrating thermocouples. Well, I want you know? to be Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Anyways, Thanks, Will. Appreciate it. Yeah, you too. Yeah, so basically, my next tutorial, not a class, is all the way on the other side of campus. So I think I am probably just going to go chill in that general vicinity because I don't want to like rush all the way there when it's like close to the time. So yeah, let's go all the way to Middlesex College. It's like a 10 minute walk. I was literally ready to walk all the way to Middlesex College, which is that pointy building over there. Cause I thought that's where the tutorial was, or I thought that it was a lecture day, but it's actually a tutorial day. But I actually have to go to social science, which is all the way behind University College. This is the building that you think of when you see university, uh, Western University. I don't know, I guess you can say that I'm taking the scenic route to social science building right now. I wanna be the life of the All right, so this over here is the Social Science Center. I am in this class right here, which is probably the biggest lecture room at Western University, I am not gonna lie. All right, let's see if I can potentially go into the room right now.
All right, so I just finished my statistics tutorial. Now I'm gonna head to grab some food because I am very hungry. I think I'm gonna grab food at none other than Da Vinci's Cafe at the Spencer Engineering Building. Let's go and grab some food. So I just finished lunch and now I have to pick up a pull from a capstone project. It's really long, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna be a clunky one to bring home. I think I'm here to pick up a package. For? Jason, Jason Ng. I believe it's that long one right there. Nah, right there, all yours. Thank you so, so much, really appreciate it. Yeah, all right. Have a great weekend. Yeah, likewise. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna bring this home and hold the camera at the same time? Honestly, I can't do these walking shots anymore. I'm just gonna meet you back at home. <sighs> wow, this was longer than I thought. You wanna see something cool? What did you buy? This is to clean our windows. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm kidding, it's for the cap dome. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This pole goes all the way from eight feet to 30 feet. All right, let's see how far I can extend this without absolutely breaking things. Oh. Oh. And more. And now we are good. I would love to tell you about the capstone project, but unfortunately I signed an NDA, so uh, I don't think I can talk about it right now. Okay, so basically now I have a lab in about an hour. I have to read a pre-lab for that lab. And I think I'm just gonna head to the engineering building, chill there until my lab, and then head to my lab. So let's go ahead and do that. For the longest time, I've been trying to find someone like you, but I keep crashing back into all the things that you would do. For the longest time, I've been out in my mind, trying to lose every single trace of you. But I know So now I am at the engineering experimentation lab. We're going to make a thermocouple today and calibrate it. So um, I guess we should probably get started, right? Yeah. of this <laughs> so this is the lab view software basically we have a thermal couple that is connected to this thing over here which is connected to the lab view software and we see a live readout of the temperature so as this hot plate warms up the water it'll warm the thermal couple and it'll give us the reading over here and we've got this thermistor over here which will measure the Resistance. Resistance in ohms. Resistance in ohms. So as the temperature increases, the resistance is going to decrease. And we're going to plot the data on this Excel spreadsheet over here. Yo, we're actually making signs right now. <laughs> That's kind of cool.
All right, so I just finished my lab. Now I have a two hour tutorial. So let's go ahead and do that. Lights out, I'm your favorite. Too many ways, been in your place, there's delays. Added up the signs, it was on the table. Driving and vibing, bring the be later. Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of. They were showing up to my space, I'm a fashion dealer. I'm your biggest bidder, meet me in the middle. I just don't wanna settle. All right, so I just got back from my biomechanics of musculoskeletal systems tutorial, which finally concludes my course content for today. As you can see, engineering is an absolute grind. So if you're also planning on going into engineering or STEM in general, then you should definitely prepare yourself. But what if I told you that you can prepare yourself and learn all of the STEM fundamentals in a fun and interactive manner? Well, you can for free with this video sponsor, brilliant.org. Brilliant goes beyond being a typical educational platform. It's a transformative tool that elevates your thinking skills across science, math, programming, and more. Take a quick quiz when you sign up and Brilliant customizes a course tailored precisely to your skill level and interests. With Brilliant's guided lessons, you have the freedom to explore concepts at your own pace, providing helpful hints and step-by-step -step solutions if you ever found yourself stuck. Knowing the fundamentals of coding is a critical part in all STEM courses, so that's why I highly recommend Brilliant's Thinking in Code course. It breaks down complex coding concepts into easy to understand interactive lessons that feel like fun games. By the end of this course, you will have built the foundation necessary to pretty much code any real world problems. But Brilliant goes beyond coding, providing a rich library in math, computer science, data fundamentals, and more all presented with the same hands-on approach that makes learning complex problems a breeze. And here's the best part. You can learn on the go with Brilliant's mobile app, ideal for students who want to make the most of their bus ride to campus. We learn best not by reading or hearing, but by actually doing. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer completely free for 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash jcity or click on the first link in this video's description. The first 200 of you to sign up will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So what are you waiting for? See if Brilliant is something that will help you prepare for school, advance your career, or simply enjoy the beauty of learning something new. Thanks again to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, then definitely you should click that subscribe button and enable those bell notifications so that you're not gonna miss out on any new future posts. And while you're at it, why not give this video a big thumbs up? And I'm very hungry right now, so I'm probably just gonna cook dinner and eat and sleep. And as usual, I will see you in the very next video. Peace. <laughs>